Hey guys, it's the Pink King here. I just got back from watching Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. And... Wow! What a movie. No, seriously. This movie reminded me why I love this franchise. And particularly, why the remake trilogy is one of my favourite trilogies ever. The emotion, the effects, the story, and the characters all were just so fantastic, and it got me so excited to see more from this world again. But, that's not why you clicked on this video. You're probably wondering, Pinking, why are you saying this? Why are you saying the movie lied to us? If it was good. And to that I say, yes. Yes, it did. Yes. This movie is a lie. The trailers, the marketing, hell, even what you think the movie is about is a lie. This movie has masterfully tricked us all into thinking it is a story about the main ape Noah and how he must go on an epic journey to not only find but rescue his clan from the dictator Proximus while discovering who and what humans are and setting up the building blocks for the future entries to build upon. Now, if you've seen the movie, you're probably saying to yourself, that's literally the plot of the movie. How can you say it's not true if that's literally what it's about? But there is where I have to stop you, dear viewer, because if you think that the movie is about Noah, the Eagle Clan, Proximus, or hell, even the humans, then you'd be dead wrong. Yes, they are important to this movie. Without one of them, you would have half a movie. But let me tell you something I noticed, because very few people are talking about this, and I find it rather interesting. This movie is not about those things, but it's about something else, something more familiar, and it's constantly reminding you what that something is, even when you don't realize it. Because what this movie is about is the exact same thing that all the other previous movies in the previous trilogy were about. Caesar. Yes, I know how I sound, but hear me out. This movie has always and will always be about Caesar and the next stage of his story. If Rise was his beginning, Dawn was his realization, and War was his end, then Kingdom is Caesar's legacy. This movie literally tells you what it's about from the beginning. As we pick up from War, we see that the funeral of Caesar, we see Rocket, Maurice, and all the other apes hold their hands in the air to wish their leader goodbye. This scene, man, it was beautiful to watch. I will rewatch this movie on the big screen just for this scene alone. But herein lies the point I'm trying to make. The movie opening on Caesar was no accident. It's telling us from the get-go that it's still Caesar's story, even if he's no longer in it. And the way this movie handles that impossible challenge is by doing something that's actually quite genius. Kingdom uses the real world, specifically religion, to help with that issue. Now, I know I am not the first person to make religious connections to Planet of the Apes, far from it, especially considering Caesar's story is very similar to Jesus from the Bible. But it's not that religion itself that Kingdom borrows, it's the impact of that religion it borrows from. Think of it like this, with the tale to the death of Jesus, the story doesn't end there, it keeps going into modern day, with people still celebrating and honouring those stories to this day. But religion is not only used like that, because as much as we don't like to admit it, we as a society have used stories from previous leaders, previous saviours, for our own gain. Take politics as an example. Any party that's struggling tends to fall on religion, twisting the words that were said long ago to help their own agenda, whether it be to guilt believers in that religion by threatening them with damnation if they don't support them, 
using that religion to bash on groups like gay people for simply existing or using it to bully scientists and people who study science because their interests don't match with their own. Unfortunately, these tales of old have been mistreated and abused, even if we don't like to admit it. And if what I have just said right now has upset you, then you are a part of the problem. But I'm getting sidetracked. The same is true in Kingdom of the Apes. The legendary tale of Caesar and what he stood for has been used in many ways, whether it be apes who still believe in what Caesar really said, aiming to practice his compassion, his empathy, or those who twists his words for his power and strength like Proximus does, or even those who have never heard of it. Planet of the Apes as a franchise has always been about social allegories, about deep meaningful messages all the way down to its very core and to us as a society. It's always been about providing a new perspective and I'm so happy that it still hasn't lost that magic. Kingdom is a great movie, but it's not about what you think it is. It's about how a messiah, a savior, a leader, a friend, a father, a brother, Despite being dead, it's about what his impact had on the world. What does his story mean to these characters? How does it inspire good in some and evil in others? And to me, that is so much more interesting as an audience member, since we know exactly what Caesar's story was. We've watched it from start to finish. We've analyzed, we've seen it. We've seen his story over and over again. We already know what these legends are, but these characters do not. And that adds a layer of intrigue that we as an audience member may not realize, but it's there. This movie follows in Rise's footsteps, you could say, of taking stuff from the past and adding something new to it while setting the groundwork for more to come. It's smart. It's meaningful, it's risky, but most of all, it's what Planet of the Apes should be. But what did you guys think of this movie? For me, I really loved it. It felt like a true successor to what came before, while still doing its own thing. But did you like it? Or did you disagree with what I have to say today? Let me know in the comments, because this is a topic that... I think needs to be talked about more because I think that this topic in particular is so interesting and full of diverse conversations to be had. And with that, I will see you all next time.